Hey everyone, so last week I did a video on Insight Face Swap, a plugin for Midjourney that would allow you to take your face and put it onto any Midjourney image. If you missed that video, it is linked below, and I would suggest watching that before you watch this one. Overall, I think that first video was a really good overview of Insight Face Swap, but based off of the comments, I wanted to circle back and look at some of the more advanced features, plus a few tips and tricks, and some things that you guys asked about in the comments. I do know that some of you were having some issues with even installing Insight Face Swap. Uh, one kind of common thing that I ran into was that some of you were using the browser version of Discord, uh, I do recommend using the app or desktop version of it. Uh, browsers can sometimes do weird things with plugins. So if you're running into that issue, just go download the official Discord app. The most commonly asked question was, can I use multiple faces? And the answer to that is yes. So from our last video, I already have me logged in as a set ID. So we're gonna create a uh, fictionalized mid-journey version of my wife for this, um, which is this mid-journey woman. Uh, I'm not allowed to use a picture of my actual wife as she would kill me. Run a save ID on it. Um, we will name her her and I will upload the image. So you can use Save ID for up to 10 different faces. Just obviously make sure you name them something different. And now you can swap back and forth between those two faces by simply issuing the command forward slash set ID and then me for me or forward slash set ID her for her. And just as a note, in case you forget, once you have like 10 faces in there, exactly who you have, you can always issue the command forward slash list ID, and that will give you a list of all of your current names. And as a note, your names are case sensitive. I kept running into an issue with my me command where I was doing a lowercase me and it kept saying that name doesn't exist. And it didn't, it was just because I have an uppercase M. The next big question was, can I swap multiple faces in the same image? And the answer is yes. The first thing you want to do is set your set ID to the multiple faces you'll want to have in that image. So it'll be forward slash set ID and then me comma, and then I'm going to put her for my wife. There doesn't apparently need to be a space between the comma. At least that's what I saw in the documentation and that's the way I've been doing it. So once you hit enter, your command is sent and now Insight Face Swap has those two faces loaded in and ready to go on your next image. One thing to note is that Insight Face parses images left to right from the set IDs. So currently we have it set to me and her. So if I were to take an image where the female character is on the left and I'm on the right, we end up with this, which is both hilarious and terrifying. Um, so yeah, you'll wanna make sure that when you do your set ID, you place the characters from left to right in order as they appear on your target image. So it's kind of an advanced technique. If you have a mid-journey image with three characters in it, but you only want to swap two of them, you actually can do that. So I rolled up this image, which is, I guess, a, a, a guy and his wife with their child in the middle. Um, and I wanna swap this out to become me, my fake wife, and I guess my fake kid. But I want to actually skip the kid. I don't want the wife's face pasted onto both of them. So in order to do that, we'll come down and do set ID and then me, comma, underscore, comma, her. I gotta make that me a capital M. I always keep forgetting to do that. So by doing that, we've issued the command to insight face that the character on the left will be me, the character in the middle will be ignored and the character on the right will be my fake wife. And as you can see now, the character on the left has my face, the daughter in the middle has not changed and the woman on the right now has the attributes of my fake mid-journey wife. And as a quick FYI, you actually can run Insight Face on the initial grid of four images that mid-journey outputs. It's actually not supported and technically doesn't completely work, but it does kind of work. But again, we do run into the left-right problem in terms of the save ID. Like for example, in this image, it works because the male is on the left. Um, in the subsequent images, it starts to run into some problems, particularly I think that third one um, doesn't actually, really doesn't know what to do there. And then by the fourth one, I'm pretty sure it just ended up leaving it alone. So there's only so much memory allotted to Insight Face, but um, it's, kind of interesting, I guess. It's a way of at least getting 
two faces out um, for the price of one. That said, you can't upscale this image after Insight Face swaps it out. So, you know, use it at your own risk. One thing that I should say when you're dealing with multiple faces is that they will cost extra command credits. So you only have 50 a day, so you can burn through them fairly quickly if you're do, trying to do like large groups or multiple iterations of like two or three characters at a time. I did find out that the daily credits do refresh at midnight UTC time. If you don't know what UTC time is in your time zone, you can go to this website and check it out. It is linked below, so that should let you know when credits refresh. So one thing I did notice through my experimentation and had been brought up a few times in the comments is that you're probably gonna have a better chance of getting a really good face swap if the physical face that you're targeting at least somewhat resembles yours. As an experiment, I took a photo of my wife and I, a, my real wife, uh, and uploaded it to Midjourney and ran a prompt and got this image, which Midjourney did the Midjourney thing where it doesn't really look like us, but it kind of looks like us. So taking Insight Face and running it with, you know, my fake wife's uh, ID got us this image, which I think ended up looking sort of relatively like me. I'll circle back to that in a second, but I'll say one thing that I kind of get a lot is people saying that I look like Robert Downey Jr. I will say, I don't think that I look like Robert Downey Jr. I just hear it a lot. Actually, one of my favorite internet burns of all time was a guy that said that I look like Robert Downey Jr. if Robert Downey Jr. kept doing drugs. So it's pretty funny. I still laugh about it to this day. So in the spirit of that, I ran Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man suit, no helmet, aspect ratio of 16.9 and got this image and then ran insight face on it and got got this image which i guess is yeah it's actually fairly convincing i guess so what happens if we go the opposite route with it so i took this photo of me while i was out hiking a few weeks ago i grabbed an image of robert downey jr loaded that into insight face and we ended up with this, which to me does not work. Um, I think that this is what Robert Downey Jr. would look like if he were still doing drugs. There's definitely something wrong in the eyes. Um, yeah, it just doesn't quite work. So, but that does lead us to a different command. So if your initial attempt doesn't come out great, one thing that you can try is uploading a different image. Um, in this case, I grabbed this image of Robert Downey Jr. And then you can run the command line forward slash swap ID. Um, which will then give you an ID name prompt. We can say RDJ on that and then upload this image. And now our tags RDJ reference is now changed. To be honest, the image came out more or less the same, but there are subtle differences, which does go to show that, you know, your source image does play a large part in your overall output. That said, I do think that it's important to have someone with relatively your same physiology uh, if you're going to be trying to create a convincing face swap. For example, continuing on with Robert Downey Jr. Um, this was cinematic still filmed by David Fincher. Robert Downey Jr. as a detective, sad expression, crime scene, night, close up 35 millimeter Kodachrome. And we get this image and then running insight face gets us this image, which is pretty okay. But if I try more or less that same prompt with Brad Pitt, who I do not look like, we end up with this image for Brad which looks fairly convincing, but when you run Insight on it with my face, we get this image, which to me doesn't really work for me, but I don't know, um, that maybe it's just me. I kind of look like an extra from True Detective season three. As a quick FYI, I do have all of these commands uh, in a PDF over on Gumroad, that link is below. Um, it's free, just hit zero for the amount and you can download it. Um, that said, you are more than welcome to leave a donation. And I am very, very, very appreciative of everyone that has donated to the previous PDF guides. Thank you guys very much. So another interesting tactic that came up is the idea of face swapping your face swap. So in other words, just kind of re-rolling your output. So I ran some tests with the LinkedIn image that we did last week. Um, so these were two uh, re-face swaps based off of that initial image. And it does change. Um, it's subtle, but it's there. Um, like the lips are definitely different here. The skin tones are definitely different. Um, and I think the stubble is different as well. So it's not huge. At least I don't see a massive difference, but your results may vary. It is something that I think is definitely worth exploring. 
Um, so give it a shot and let me know how it works out for you. So moving on, actually a few people in the comments asked if this works for animals. And initially I was like, no, it doesn't. And then I thought about it and I was like, well, maybe it does. I guess we should try. Um, so this is my dog, Luna. Please no comments that she's cute. Trust me, this dog has an ego like none other that I've ever seen. So anyhow, taking Luna's photo and then running it on a mid-journey output that is just simply a black dog, happy, aspect ratio 16.9, gets us this, which is horrific. So, no, it does not work. You had to try, though. And just because I know someone's going to ask, no, dog on a human face does not work either. So, a few last commands. If you want to get rid of all of your IDs, all you have to do is forward slash DEL all, delete all, and that will get rid of every face ID that you have loaded in. If you just want to get rid of a singular one, delete ID, D-E-L, ID, and then it'll ask you for the name that you want to delete. So let's delete Luna out of here. So delete dog and Luna has been deleted. So those are pretty much the commands. I will say currently Insight Face seems to be running a little bit on the slow side. You may have noticed that there's a queue now. Uh, word seems to have gotten out about it and obviously they are getting hammered right now. So, you know, just be patient with them. And if you are still having problems with installing, uh, I'd recommend maybe heading over to their Discord. That link will be below. Uh, it seems to be pretty active right now. So if you ask for some help, maybe somebody might be able to give you some advice. Well, happy face swapping, everyone. Please do so responsibly. My name's Tim. I thank you for watching.